Hello, it's me after a wedding, after only four hours of sleep, after looking very bad, sleeping in the car on the way back from Z and Larry's gamer goth wedding. Do you want to know what they're doing on their wedding night? Drinking a bottle of hypnotic and playing. Oh my gosh, what was the game? Four. Oh, I can't remember. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. This little man is sucking up all my brains lately. It's been pretty. It's been, you know what? I have never been, I'm already pretty clumsy. But I have never been more clumsy in my whole life. It's crazy. I drop stuff all the time. And you think you wouldn't want to drop anything while you're pregnant because bending over cuts off your circulation. So you, I mean, it cuts. I can't breathe when I bend over. So I'm like, <gasps> Reaching for stuff all day long because I'm constantly fumbling things out of my fingers. So yeah, I shouldn't have. T I shouldn't always like take off my half my makeup before I do these videos. Mm, you guys are probably used to my haggardness by now. Okay, so in a week are the baby showers, and I have to plan. Steal the man shower. Games, that is. I've been delegating pretty good. Just going to have to have a quick meeting on Sunday about it. The man shower is going to be epic because everybody is super stoked about it and they want to come. I, mean, I don't blame them. I want to go. Because I wish I had a GoPro to film it. That'd be fun. Mm, well, um, On Tuesday, I went to the doctor. Stinger, my man, Mr. Stinger. And I said, he said, any questions, concerns, problems? And I said, like, the numbness. He thinks he's, he thinks Salem's laying on a nerve. So, um, on my spine. So, that's why I feel a little numb right there. But, he said, any questions, concerns, problems? And I replied, um, doctor, the only perk about being pregnant is getting big, beautiful boobs. When am I going to get those? He's like, are you planning on breastfeeding? Mm-hmm, 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 Oh, you'll get them. I hope so. Sometimes you hear about these women, they don't get them. It's a tragedy. For once in my life, can I just have some boobs? Worth bragging about. Mm. Oh, I got this requested information I asked for about core blood banking. Sounds awesome. It's something everybody should do. But, I mean, after giving birth and paying off that bill and for the deductible and insurance and diapers and... Who's got $3,000 for the initial payment and then $300 extra a year to pay for... The storage. And I know it could save your life. I know it really can, but I don't have $3,000 lying around to make a one-time initial core blood banking fee. I wish I did. I wish I did because there's so many things that it cures and helps and prevents. Even autism. I don't know if you saw the study today, but 1 in 45 kids now have autism. Yeah, 1 in 45. That's crazy. We got that study that came out. Japan had a 6.7 earthquake. France is in pandemonium right now. <sighs> oh, and J Russia is getting banned from the Olympics potentially because they're blood doping. Life is going crazy lately. Oh, Shia LaBeouf is watching his own videos. Um, you know, he's, he's, Live streaming himself watching his own movies three days straight. And then we got Rokerthon. That's what the news is these days. And Donald Trump and stupid, gosh, the presidential debates. Mm. So, dumb. so my car broke down today. You know what's really funny about that? Is that... I was at the psychology center getting counseling. It had been the first time in three weeks because um, 
it's been so bad scheduling with my with my job. They've been out of town. I can't get out of the office. The vice president is in the office or the CEO and he we don't really leave because he gets very nervous when we're not in the office. So I have to had to cancel counseling a few times because he was popping in. So um I went in today and she was like, So what's going on? And I'm like, Well, everything's been going pretty good, but I'm worried about my car. It's not reliable. It's I mean, it's not safe. It's I was driving <laughs> this summer, I was driving. Um and my tire rods snapped off while I was driving. Um, just one, but you know, it's scary enough. What if I was driving down the freeway and Salem was in the back seat and my tire rod snapped off? We would have flipped. So my car, it's 2004. It's a PT Cruiser. It looks like a diamond, but it's a lemon under the hood. And I'm just kind of worried about it with Salem because I don't want to be stranded on the side of the road. Or on the road and get run over before I can get out with my baby. So I was talking about that. We're talking about communication and how to approach that, you know, situation. And I'm really bad at it. Communication. Because I'm always hinting instead of asking. And, you know, I don't know. Whatever. So we were talking about that. Go down to my car. Can't turn it on. It won't let me turn the ignition. It won't even let me. It won't even let. It acknowledges that the key is in there, but it will not turn. It will not turn. So I'm trying for 25 minutes before I call my manager and to pick me up. And then she comes and gets me. And we tried a few more times. And then um, I, when Dev get, got off work, I had him check it because um, he is he's pretty mechanical. I know you might not know this, but. I always envisioned Dev as being a a car rebuilder. I've always thought that. I always thought that he should be working on, you know, car remodel. And not like collision repair, like remodeling cars. I don't know. I just see him being a grease monkey. Grease monkeys. Oh man, my weakness is my weakness are greasy car mechanics in their jumpsuits, you know? I don't know what it is. But, you know, whatever. And not like I'm going out finding them. It just if I'm having to happen to be dating one, pretty awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So, got it towed. It won't be ready until Monday, which is really bad because I had the wedding today. And I got a ride to that. That was good. But tomorrow, I have I just dropped this phone off. This phone is out of control. It's not sending texts. It's not. It's the, the network is being stupid, and it's my phone. And it just needs to give me a new one. It took them seven hours to back up and swipe my phone. And it's they said they, they could replicate the problem and fix it. And as soon as I got out of there at 6 o'clock at night with my phone, after I dropped it off at 11... I sent a text out and it did the exact same thing. So it didn't even fix it within seconds of me leaving. So it took 20 minutes to send a text after I updated the PRL network. So pointless. So give me a new phone. Thanks. Um, so I need to take my phone back in and have them send me one. And then I need to go to my brother's court of honor. For his Eagle Scout project. And I'll be missing probably the biggest fight of the, the rest of the year. Because it's a Rousey fight. So I'll be missing out on really good money tomorrow. But that's okay. Because I'm working Sunday night to make up for it. And hopefully that'll be good money. I hope because I don't know what's going on with people lately. They are like stiffing me. Like badly. I don't know if it's just the holidays. Or if it's just everybody. But it, and it's not just me. It's a lot of people. But people are just being bad. And it's not just our restaurants. It's all around the city. And it's frustrating. Because I, I worked um, from 5 to 1 in the morning last night. And I um, my sales were damn near $800. And I walked out with 94 That means, I mean, 
almost eight hundred dollars. Just say just to round it up to eight hundred dollars, and uh, sixteen or so one hundred and sixty dollars would be twenty percent, which is usually what I make. I usually make over twenty percent. Like hands down, I always make more than twenty percent. Um, and it's not hard. I mean, it's because I'm twelve years experience. Six of that was a bartender. I. I was an IST trainer at TGI Fridays. I went to conferences constantly on training. And then I, when I became a WCT trainer here and I opened up restaurants, I have the, you know, the most experience out of all the servers, you know, and front of the house at my restaurant. And they gave me a cocktail shift, hallelujah. And so I made probably the most money I could have made that night, you know, if I was in dining room, I probably wouldn't have made that much. So I'm thankful that I made what I made, but I made, gosh, 75 less than what I could have made. So just to think in terms like that, and that's before tip out. So before tipping on my bartender, but I wanted to tip on my bartender more money because they worked their tail off for me, but it would have been 15% of my tips that I would have been tipping at the bartender. And so I would have been walking with 10% of my sales, which would have been 80. And I'm like, I can't, I, I, I'm sorry. I have, I have to live now. And then the money I made, I have to put towards my car repair because my car was broken. I can't even say, like I try to do the right thing and save up money and something always happens. I'm sure you guys know. I'm sure you are all aware. <sighs> so I called my dad and told him and so it's there we'll see how much it costs I told him if it's going to be over $300 just to let me warn me so that because I can fix I can pay for it if it's like a third of that <laughs> mm. I was trying to buy new tires this month now I have to pay for a stupid car repair stupid so my dad's coming over in the morning to put the crib <coughs> together in my baby room for Mr. Salem. Mr. Salem, the mini volcano. And, um, I know he's going to say that. Damn you, your house is a mess. Okay, it's just my living room. I want to get rid of that couch so bad. <coughs> so I want to put my Christmas tree up. My Christmas Halloween tree up. Okay, so I'm super excited for the, the baby shower. I know everybody likes to think that everybody they invited is going to show up. <laughs> but I invited like 100 people. And if 100 people did show up, my poor mother, I would be happy. But she'd be like, pulled pork sandwiches, coleslaw. I don't know why, but I had to have it. And peach whirly gig dessert. I'm so excited. Dev's party. I have no idea what's going on. I'm planning it. And I, did, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's next week. So I have to really figure out what's going on. I've been delegating, but as far as what exactly is going on, I don't know. But I know a lot of people are showing up for that one. So, last night I was working. And I realized... That kind of a jerk because I didn't know this, but I have a big fan of the Jelly Bean Chronicles out there. I'm talking about you, Mel, and I kind of feel like I wish I would have known. I had no idea. So, to my biggest fan, I'm personally calling you out as a personal invite to my baby shower. On Sunday, Saturday, don't come on Sunday, Saturday to me Madre's house for the baby shower. That's right. That's you, Mel. Um, Mel said the nicest thing to me yesterday. And then I kind of got a little like embarrassed because there were so many nice things she was saying to me. And so I was like, oh, it's so nice. And now I don't know how to act. So I'm sorry. I was probably being a little weird. I'm kind of a little weird. Oh, so Mel, I personally invite you to the baby shower. I don't know if you can go because you're probably working. 
but if you can go, it starts at one and there's no end time because it's going to be like kind of like an open house. Um, and then we're going to play games at some point. Games. Um, so yeah. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, I created a word and then Lacey, um, and Logan drove me to the wedding. Lacey created a word too. So I've been pretty pre, I want to sound like prego, but aggro. So I've been pretty pragro lately. And uh, Dev doesn't help with his really immature, look at me, shock value comments that drive me nuts because it's a bad reflection upon me and my baby, which is our baby. And so it just makes me mad because, you know, I took a step away from those kind of things. So that my son wouldn't be shamed by me before he's even born. Like, oh, your mother. Oh, my gosh. Let me. Or, or you know, this. I'm like, your father. Holy hell. So. It's kind of mad. Like, I wish he would make better choices. Instead of spending hours trying to post the perfect post. You know, maybe other stuff whatever so I've been pretty pragro lately and um, then Lacey came up with the word prego polar <laughs> because I've been like this lately and everybody at the office is just saying to me when are you gonna have that baby cameo so you can be nice again. Or when is she having that baby? Because I'm so mean to everybody at the office. I'm so bratty and feisty. And, and I tell him, this little man is sucking up all my love. Isn't that a good thing? And you guys are just getting the rest. So he's getting all my love. And you're getting all the feistiness. I'm nice to everybody else. I'm nice to everybody at Buffalo Wild Wings most of the time. Unless I... Walk in at 6 o'clock and get section 4. That makes me pretty upset. Or, uh, yeah, Dev gets it. Oh, this is something crazy. Want to hear something crazy? I've been going on, I think, dates lately. But I got kind of yelled at, in a sense. Because of my co-parenting whatever relationship with Dev that's not really a relationship but it's a relationship it's I don't know what it is it's like a friendship relationship I don't know but I shouldn't have to defend why me and Dev are so civil because it's good to be civil like after Dev and I initially got over the whole I'm pregnant thing I asked him to be a part of my life. So people are asking me, what is Dev's role? Is he even in is he even in the baby's life? Is he even in Salem's life? Yeah, oh yeah, he's he's in it all the time. He is constantly checking up on me, you know, and when he sees my posts like not gaining weight and eating, not eating and stuff, he's like concerned and you know being nice. Like you need to eat cameo and stuff like that. He checks on me every morning. How are, how are you two? You know, he says, good night, you two. Most of the time, I don't know where he's at tonight. My phone's being weird, though. So I could be getting lots of texts from people, but I don't know. Um. Oh, gosh, heartburn. I don't even know what I... I, haven't eat, I ate a scone four hours ago. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. And uh, he um goes to all the appointments. He's only missed one. And I was pretty upset. I didn't tell him, though, because he only missed the one. And uh, he's moving in the baby room um, two weeks before I'm due-ish. And staying, like, a month after or up until NAM or around then. So we can get a hang of this thing together instead of just, like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I... I 
I think it would be better in this. And so, um, when I asked him not to post any pictures of his, um, girl interests, there we go, girl interests, because, um, I don't know how I'll react at the, at, I don't know if you heard about the famous baby reveal, gender reveal party incident, but, um, there was an incident and I kind of was like, what the hell, dad? And not that anything was going on, but it was just kind of like a silly thing that happened, but I still called him out on it and, you know, just to prevent that and in serious mode in the future, I had him just like please don't do it and i and i won't and so um and so he hasn't and i constantly like in my head or, or to him just thank him like and not constantly but once in a while i'll say to him like, thank you for not posting any pictures of you and girls because they're probably all cute skinny twiggy cute boobs tiny big i don't know cute they're not like ginormous getting stretch marks you know just saying. And so he's very, I mean, he's very, not hands-on, that sounds weird, but he's very involved. We hang out, like, constantly, at least a couple of times a week. And, um, yeah. I, I love the father of my child. But, um, we're co-parenting. Because I have this firm belief that he is very afraid of the nuclear family life and what it entails. Just just a weird tick he has. Like, I'm going to be with the same girl. I'm not going to bang a million girls. Oh my gosh, my life will be so miserable. What am I going to do? I'm an old man hermit that goes to bed at 8 o'clock at night and, and, and is a homebody. I can't deal with nuclear family life. Okay, it's cool. It's chill. Like I said before in the last video, it's probably a good thing so that I can find somebody who is more on my uh, A-type level or something. Or something, I don't know. So, <laughs> I've been going on these dates, right? And um, it's another B-type. So, kind of like not an A-type, like I just said. But it's kind of nice. Gosh, why is my belly so numb right there? It's so weird. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it's a guy I dated before. But yeah, so he got moody with me. And then I said what I said. And then he replied back. And I mean, it's fine. But I'm not holding my breath because nobody around here is really attractive that's a type <coughs> that is a, like you know hard working motivated um goal oriented um and and my parents may think that i'm not but they'll never think i am because they'll always see this irresponsible 20 something year old who's trying to catch up as a 30 something year old um but that's okay, because I know someday I'll find a cute alt guy who is as hardworking as I am and wants to travel and do fun stuff and have more babies. This is a long video, and I'm really tired. I only got four hours of sleep last night. Ew, and when I was getting to sleep, it was waking up every 40 minutes or so. I don't, it was the worst sleep ever. I like that Le Liatchko pillow or whatever, that body pillow. But it's also really confusing too because <clears throat> it's like a pool noodle. It just gets wrapped around you sometimes. So I'm going to go to bed because my dad's going to be over here in the morning and he's going to be Wondering why I'm such a slob. And I don't need that. And I gotta work on some papers tomorrow. So. 
goodbye and thanks for listening and mel don't forget personally invite i'm personally inviting you to go to the baby show and you don't need to bring a gift i don't care i just want you there